Welcome. We've talked with Anxai Biotech multiple times, but we're joined this time by Ron Andrews, the President and Chief Executive Officer of Oncocytes. Ron, it's a pleasure to have you with us. How are you? Yeah, great to be here, and thanks for the time today. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to have Oncocyte with us. We're excited to chat with you. Can you start by just giving us a high-level overview of what Oncocyte is? Yeah, Oncocyte's a precision diagnostics company focused in cancer and expanding into transplant monitoring. And our focus is to take large-scale genomic data that has come out of the Genome Project over through the last 15 years and really synthesize it down to, to smaller panels that are more actionable and have more precision to those to really guide physicians in their treatment decision, uh, treatment decisions that they have for cancer patients. Fantastic. Okay, let's zoom in on some of the past accomplishments, especially when you're looking at what the company does. Can you detail any major accomplishments that investors should be paying particular attention to? Yeah, and I think at the big picture, we, you know, I stepped in at two and a half years ago with a strategy to put together, or string together, if you will, a, a series of technology acquisitions that would launch us into uh, the continuum of managing uh, patients for can with cancer throughout the patient journey, and we've had a we've had two solid years of hitting every milestone we laid out to to hit, and and last six months has been incredibly rich in in milestones, primarily because the the products the three products that we're launching for treatment decision, uh, two of them have we've been working through the development phase, and both of those are have made it through their milestones and what we call our stage gate process, and are ready to be launched into the market here in 2022. And so very excited about those. We also had some significant papers uh, in our immune therapy selection test that were presented uh, in the fall uh, at ESMO. It was our first randomized um, trial uh, with a drug called Atezo. Uh, and we successfully identified a patient population that have triple negative breast cancer that showed high, high response to immune therapy, which is a group of patients that before uh, had not seen eligibility for that. So very excited about that. Uh, and again, number of milestones that we've had uh, through the last really two years, but certainly the last six months preparing us for where we are today. Let's dive into the recent partnership announcement with Thermo Fisher. Uh, tell us a little bit more about that and why Oncocyte? Why was this chosen as the path forward? Yeah, I mean, Thermo Fisher, as most folks know, is a global, very, you know, a global company, very focused in, in key areas of, of science, and their motto is serving science. In our world of cancer, looking at large sequences of, of tumor data is essential to really managing the disease well. And, and the challenge we had is to do that, you had to send your tumor specimen, if you're a physician, out to a laboratory. It would take two to three weeks to get the results back. And meanwhile, you're already starting to treat the patient without all the knowledge you need to manage that patient well. Uh, what Thermo did is had the foresight to invest in engineering an instrument that can actually fit in any hospital in the world. And, and with that, uh, it allows you to provide access to these game-changing tests, uh, especially the, the platform that we put together, our determined platform, and it allows you to put those test into kits and now deploy them on their install base globally. So for us, uh, it was a great opportunity for us to, to move beyond uh, the United States and, and, and enter the European and ex-US markets, as we like to call them, uh, and with a partner who is uh, large, has plenty of commercial prowess and power, uh, has all the support infrastructure that we need to, to service and support instrument installations and to, and to support uh, our kit development as well as our, our kit launches. And so we felt like it, it was a great opportunity for us. Uh, the short-term benefits, we have to get everything through uh, the FDA and through what we call IVDR, which is the European regulatory bodies. But ultimately, having a kitted product on a, a large-scale install base in smaller regional and community hospitals in Europe and rest of the world will benefit Oncocyte tremendously. And, and why did Thermo pick us? And bottom line is they have this incredibly engineered instrument. I think they realize that we have a, a complete menu of treatment decision tests. We have a test, should I give adjuvant chemo? We have a test, should I give a targeted drug? And we have a test, do I need to give immune therapy? And then coming, we have the whole monitoring world of monitoring for uh, therapy efficacy and obviously ultimately monitoring for recurring tumors. And so when they looked at us with a complete menu and, and the ability and the skill set within the company to actually take those tests and take them through the regulatory process, uh, they began to get excited about what the combination could, could do together. 
uh, and thus we we were able to sign our deal. Outstanding. Now, who do you look at as your main competitors? What differentiates you from them? Can you give us any insights there? Sure. I mean, you know, the good news about us is we have unique products that are proprietary, uh, but there are over you know overarching competitors in oncology that that we will be competing with. For instance, it, it, the, the, our test called the term TX, which is a targeted panel. Do I give a targeted therapy? That was kind of the first place everybody went after the genome project. And there are companies like Foundation Medicine. There's companies like Keras, um, even you know what I would call academic labs like MD Anderson and Memorial Sloan Kettering. Uh, they, they have a targeted panel. What they don't have is an immune therapy precision diagnostic test, which we have is proprietary. So our goal is obviously to, to launch this precision oriented uh, immune therapy selection test and put with it our targeted therapy. Most physicians that we've worked with have said that they, they love the IO, they love the concept of Determa IO, which is our immune therapy selection test, but they really need to get both at the same time. And so because we'll be a one-stop shop, they'll get a precision-oriented immune therapy selection test, and they'll be able to combine it with our 500-gene uh, targeted drug panel. And the two of those you know, make us fairly unique, even though there are competitors in the target therapy area. And then when you get to patient monitoring, uh, there are companies running a test called minimal residual disease, companies like Natera, uh, Exact Sciences, as mentioned, they want to get in there, Garden, et cetera. Um, they all use tumor profiling up front and then create a custom kit. And then somewhere between eight and 12 weeks after the patient goes on a drug, they actually are able to, to, to launch their test uh, and, and actually monitor. We are a blood only test. We don't need to have knowledge of the tumor up front. So for us, determine CNI, which is our monitoring test for therapeutic efficacy, we can tell a physician within the second cycle of treatment whether the drug is working or not. And that is somewhere between six and nine weeks ahead of uh, the other companies that have products in that area. Outstanding. Last question for you as we close. Let's take a look five years down the road. What does Oncocyte look like then? What milestones should we be on the lookout for along that path? And what's the company going to be like at that point? Yeah, the company's working hard to, to really change the patient management paradigm. Um, because of our complete menu, we can help physicians with early stage tumors, we can help them as those tumors recur. We can monitor for therapeutic efficacy and ultimately we'll have a test to monitor for recurring tumors. And so as that continuum unfolds, uh, we, we will be launching this year to term IO and to term TX. Uh, both of those are very important to the long term health of the company. Uh, Determine TX will most likely get reimbursed in the second half of this year. And Determine IO is a proprietary test, so we'll have to submit that for reimbursement. But early next year, we hope to get reimbursed for that. Determine CNI, there's a blanket LCD. So once that co coverage decision from CMS, uh, it, it, once we meet the technical specs, we can get reimbursement for that. So bottom line is 2022 is a powerful year for us. We're launching four major products this year that we've been working on for the last two and a half. Well, terrific. Looking forward to watching that happen. Ron Andrews, President and CEO of Oncocyte, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me.